uh, here, the same thing, drywall screw. For some reason, I got this one. I did a spray a little WD-40 in it. Not that it needed it, but I put it on there anyways. I used these, uh, the washers that came with it because the screw, the screws that came with it actually started sh uh, stripping as I was making it past the, the, uh, the drywall into the stud. They started stripping. Maybe my, uh, yeah, this is some, you know, and there's your answer, you know. This came with just this little piece right here. And, um, and I put it directly into the stud. Yeah. Oiled it up. You see a little oil drip. I oiled it up just so it can swivel a lot better. Now, what I ended up, what I, what I ended up doing was, uh, attaching a weight here just to balance. Just a little two, two and a half pound weight just to assist in the balance of it. Because it, it was leaning this way once I attached the, uh, cable box. I got the cable box attached right here. Little tiny cable box. It's not a big TV. It's a uh, twenty in a twenty-seven, twenty-six inch range. And uh, just wanted a TV mounted for my for my little weight room area that I got down here. Need to clean up a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's all right. It holds the weight, not not a problem. This is not a light TV. If I had to guess, it's a good twenty-five pounds um, TV. Maybe a little heavier than that. This claims it can hold up to one hundred and fifty pounds. I'm not sure if it can actually hold that. But uh, when you get it, make sure you tighten this up a lot tighter right here. Once you <clears throat> once you hang it and um. I just uh, attached this because the, the space that was between here, the actual connects are right here. So it wouldn't reach, so I decided to just get a piece of plywood, attach the TV to the plywood, and the actual mount to the plywood. And uh, it's perfectly fine. That even gave me a place to hang me the, uh, hang the, uh, the cable box. So. Perfect. Came on all right.